Welcome to Medicine Medicine. This session will be on toxicology and we will discuss about aconite poisoning. Yes, aconite which is believed to be cause of death of Romeo in tragic love story of Romeo Juliet. Aconite is also known as monk's hood, devil's helmet, blue rocket and sweet poison. Common varieties found are Aconitum napellus and Aconitum ferus and these plants usually grow in the Himalayas. All varieties and all parts of plants are poisonous, especially roots. The roots of aconite resemble the roots of horseradish and accidental poisoning is due to eating of roots in mistake for horseradish root. Roots are dry, conical, shriveled with longitudinal wrinkles and they are brown in color. The root and seeds of aconite are most potent and contain active principles in alkaloid form which are aconitine, the major one. Pseudoaconitin, indaconitin, picraconitin, mesaconitin, and gisaconitin. Mechanism of action Aconite binds with voltage dependent sodium ion channels, thereby causing persistent activation of these channels, which become refractory to excitation. The cardiotoxicity and neurotoxicity of aconitin and related alkaloids are due to their actions on the voltage sensitive sodium channels of the cell membranes of excitable tissues including myocardium, nerves, and muscles. It is to be noted that aconite first stimulates and then depresses CNS. Aconite poisoning can so effects on various systems of body, which are listed here. In gastrointestinal tract, you will see tinging and numbness of mouth and throat, which is characteristic of aconite poisoning. Similarly, there is nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. CNS effects of aconitine poisoning manifest as numbness and paresthesia of face and limbs. Note that mind remains clear till death. However, hallucinations may be present in between. Aconite is a cardiac poison, so you will see several CBS manifestations such as hypertension and bradycardia. As stated by some of the research papers, the hypertensive and bradycardic actions of aconitine are attributable to central activation of ventromedial nucleus of hypothalamus. Similarly, one can also see cardiac arrhythmia with AV block. Arrhythmogenic properties of aconitine are in part due to its anticholinergic effects mediated by vagus nerve. Hippus, which means alternate contraction and dilation of pupils, is the characteristic finding of aconite poisoning. However, it is to be noted that pupils remain dilated in later stages of poisoning. Fatal dose for this poison is 1 gram root or 2 to 5 milligram of aconitine and fatal period is about 2 to 6 hours. Talking about treatment, it is to be noted that there is no any specific antidote for aconite poisoning, so all the measures taken are directed towards eliminating poison from body. Gastric lavage is done with warm water and solution of potassium iodide or tannic acid to neutralize the alkaloid. Similarly, multiple dose activated charcoal can be given. Atropine is not specific for aconite poisoning, but it is used to treat hypertension and bradycardia resulting from poisoning. Aconite-induced ventricular arrhythmias are refractory to antiarrhythmic drugs because of which atropine is used in management. Post-mortem findings of aconite poisoning are not specific but those of asphyxia which means organs such as brain, kidney and lungs are congested. Now, let's talk about medical legal importance of aconite poisoning. The first one is accidental poisoning due to eating of roots in mistake for horseradish. Aconite may be used for suicidal poisoning. It may also be used as ideal homicidal poison. Root may be used as abortive patient and it may also be used as cattle poison. Now, we will discuss features of aconite as homicidal poison. Aconite is cheap, easily available, sweet in taste and is capable of being administered in food or drink without any suspicion. Aconite is highly toxic. The death resembles natural death. It is not easily detected by chemical test and there are no specific post-mortem changes. This all features make aconite a suitable homicidal poison. Thank you for watching this video. If you love this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos every week.